So in this video, I will talk about how to apply the resolve uh, resolve fallback solution for, for uh, from Webpack in your uh, Next.js application. So this is, uh, I think a lot of those things are dynamically dependent on the version of Next.js. So in this example, I'm using the, uh, the Next.js version 10.2. And uh, well, it's very likely that the exact behavior in the in the future versions of uh, uh, Next.js will be will be slightly different. So we just generated a new uh, a new Next.js app uh, following the fo following the recommendation from their documentation. And uh, well, it's already installed. Uh, the folder I created is called uh, example. And in that folder, I have a command dev, but the application is working just fine. The problem is when I start editing the app and actually I, uh, when I start using my, uh, well, my, my example library, uh, the library on purpose is uh, is creating is creating in a way that will cause our build to fail. It's uh, uh, is importing the FS module that typically we will not have available for our uh, in in our browser applications, and this is this is a case that it's very common. Well, this kind of imports is very common for third part libraries that we can well that we can somehow already have in our uh in our project and uh, and well if those are libraries that are that were built many years ago without without like browser in 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 mind uh well we can find ourselves in a in a pretty uh well in a situation that we are using something like half abundant we want to make it work and uh, we uh, we will have uh, an issue like this one. So I'm just uh, I'm going up in my uh, in my files. Uh, that should already work for loading for importing the lib. Uh, okay, and this is exactly the error I was hoping to see. Uh, I uh, well uh, cannot resolve FS. Uh, if you watched the other video, uh, you could you pro you already know that we do have a very simple solution for that. It's just like uh, resolve uh, well resolve fallback configuration in in Webpack. But the problem we have is actually there is well. On first sight, there is there is no obvious place where to put the solution, right? There is no webpack config file that we could just start tweaking around. So to address this issue, uh, well, we we are interested in uh, in customizing our our webpack configuration, and uh, luckily on the Next.js there is a play there is a documentation that talks exactly exactly about that it's uh, well if you are familiar with webpack this uh, uh, the way how we are supposed to write here you're you're probably not not so familiar uh, but anyway uh, let's see if we can uh, we can find our way around it so the file is uh, just exporting some values and it's next config.js so let's create uh, exactly that uh, next config.js uh, so we will be just exporting some empty well some empty object and let's see what happens first uh, next.js uh, is notifying us that we have to restart the server so we better follow the recommendation Okay, so here everything is working as expected. Uh, no, no big uh, errors yet. 
Uh, let's see what they provide us. Okay, so we should be uh, defining some webpack fun uh, webpack key and a function on, on it. Webpack and the function takes config. And we are returning config. Well, we are supposed to manipulate it. But let's see what will happen with just that. Uh, again, we are asked to restart our server. And this is exactly what I wanted to show you. At least in the current version of uh, of uh, of Next.js, as soon as you are starting uh, start customizing your, your webpack, uh, here, where is the log? Using webpack for so before we've been we've been uh, using Webpack five, the the newest version, and probably for the backwards compatibility, they are just defaulting the 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 Webpack to four when you are uh, when you are um, customizing your uh, your config. So most likely we don't want to do that because well. Uh, Webpack, the current Webpack is Webpack 5. So it's if it's new or newish project, it, it makes sense to just use the, use the newest tools we have available. And here is the small configuration that, exact, uh, that will achieve exactly that. So now I again have to restart my server. And right now we are still on web, Webpack 5. So, so far, so good. So what we are, what we are tempted to do is just to start tweaking our, our config. So just to, well, if we, uh, if we are specifying, we, if we want to specify a fallback for FS, uh, library import, uh, just set it to false and see what will happen. Okay. Again, we have to restart. Okay, so it's already complaining that FS is undefined. So probably what we should be doing is set it to an object and see what will happen here. Ah, again, restart. Uh, compile successful. And our, our application is working as expected. That's all and see you next time.